Live from downtown San Antonio, this is America's largest illuminated parade, the Fiesta Flambeau Night Parade on Case at 12. Hello and welcome to the 2019 Fiesta Flambeau Parade right here in the beautiful Alamo City. A parade that is the largest illuminated parade in the nation. And right now you are listening to the University of Texas Band, the Longhorn Band, play for us right in front of the Alamo. Yeah, the show band of the Southwest, along with Ursula Perry, I'm Steve Spreester. Thank you and we welcome you to downtown San Antonio, the heart of military City, USA, and shortly we are going to see a flyover from a military C-5, from the 433rd airlift wing they are going to fly right over our vantage point here. Something they've never done before. They have never done this before right across from the Alamo. So, it's could you ask for anything better? We've got the University of Texas Longhorn Marching Band behind us playing music as they await a C-5 M Super Super Galaxy, a monster plane that is going to fly over downtown San Antonio here. That plane right now is flying over the Alamo City right here in downtown San Antonio. We've got a shot up in the sky. We're going to catch it live for you right there. My goodness. Look at that. Right over the heart of San Antonio, a C-5M Super Galaxy. The 433rd Airlift Wing has approximately 2,500 reserve citizen airmen, and they were the first Air Force Reserve Wing to be unit equipped with C-5M Super Galaxy, the plane that you're looking at right now flying over Broadway Street in downtown San Antonio right in front of the Alamo. Yeah, the 433rd Airlift Wing traces its history in Texas dating back to 1955. It was assigned to the Air Force Reserve Command at Brooks Air Force Base, later moved to Kelly Air Force Base in 1960. Certainly a, a beautiful symbol of Military City USA. And right now you're looking at the Texas flag being uh, encir- encircled there in the street. A beautiful sign of the pride we have here in the state of Texas. Yeah, this is the Texas Alpha Phi Omega, Alpha Rho chapter from Austin. Uh, their mascot, of course, the Longhorns, and they are uh, host, they host the largest blood drive in Texas every semester. And to give you an idea of what we're talking about here with this Fiesta Flambeau Parade, the theme is Reflections of Music Past. So this is, it, 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 this is always a musical ordeal, this parade, especially so this evening. And right here we have the San Antonio Police Pipes and Drums uh, with our Pipe Major Jason Grasino and Drum Major David Brinkley. Uh, this Pipe and Drum Band for the San Antonio Police Department uh, is only a couple of years old, but it is the largest police pipe and drum band in the state of Texas. They're comprised of active and retired men and women of San Antonio Police, and they wear the black McGregor tartan kilt in memory of John McGregor, who was one of the original defenders of the Alamo. Wow, that's really good to know. And next, following the Pipe and Drums Corps, San Antonio Police Chief William McManus, along with some of the bike patrol that you see there, San Antonio's police chief. There he is, walking right behind the banner. He's got his his, uh, trademark shades on, our cool police chief here in San Antonio. Uh, They are actually walking in collaboration with the Children's Hospital of the San Antonio Foundation. They joined forces in 2019 uh, with the SAPD calendar. All proceeds going to benefit the hospital and the children that it cares for. Yeah, and the San Antonio Police Department is dedicated to improving the quality of life by creating a safe environment in partnership with the people we serve. They strive to act with integrity, reduce fear and crime while treating all with respect, compassion, and fairness. And they also are apparently committed to selfies, selfies with a number of people <laughs> along, the, along the parade right here. Yeah, a lot of people really uh, feel that personal touch from our police department. They have a program called Coffee with the Cops. It's a community engagement opportunity for residents to interact with officers working in the neighborhoods. We are just getting started. Fiesta Flambeau 2019 live from downtown San Antonio will continue after this. Welcome back to our Fiesta Flambeau 
2019, the night parade you won't want to miss. The lights are already beginning to illuminate this parade, and when the sun goes down, that's when Fiesta Flambeau really shines. Yeah, and in that carriage right there, you are seeing the Fiesta military coordinator, Lieutenant General Jeffrey Buchanan from Joint Base San Antonio, Fort Sam Houston, and a number of our military walking through downtown San Antonio to cheers and ovations. This is definitely Military City USA. That's right. The mission statement for U.S. Army North partnering to conduct homeland defense, support civil authorities, and cooperate with the Canadian and Mexican militaries in order to protect the United States and its interests. This is a big part of our city, uh, its history and its future as well. And right now in this carriage that you're looking at is Mayor Ron Nuremberg and his wife, First Lady Erica Prosper, and their son Jonah and the mayor smartly wearing his San Antonio Spurs jersey tonight since the Spurs tip off here in, oh, about 50 minutes in Denver to yes. take on the Denver Nuggets tonight in Game 7 of the NBA playoffs. So. A lot of people are splitting their loyalties tonight between their their love of the Fiesta Flambeau and the Spurs. We'll, uh, <laughs> we got to join them, too. We, we, we want the Spurs to win, and we want this to be a parade that you never forget. Absolutely. And right there we see, I believe this would be the Fiesta San Antonio Commission President Byron, Brian LaFleur and his wife Kathleen as they t go by us here in the beautifully decorated carriage. This is one of the things that sets uh, San Antonio apart. We have these wonderful drum and dance cores uh, in the city. You're going to see a few of them. This is Kazumba Drum and Dance. Uh, they've been around since 2000. They dance for fun and they travel all over the place in their colorful costumes to cheer up crowds all along the parade routes all over the country. Yeah, I love that they have these different dance troops that are dressed up in the different colors as they go by. Their mission dancing is fun. No experience necessary. In this carriage, you're going to find uh, the grandchildren of Gloria and Pete Ortiz Jr. Uh, he was a, a founding member, uh, one of the founders of uh, Fiesta. And uh, so we are celebrating uh, Pete Ortiz Jr. Gloria with her husband started their Fiesta involvement a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, and then, in the, of course, they also worked with the JCs, and they were fundamental in making this night parade what it is today. Absolutely. And we want to thank them for all of their contributions, and their family certainly carries on that legacy uh, as we continue to watch some of these carriages go through downtown San Antonio. Beautiful Clydesdale horses uh, in front of that float. If you've never been to San Antonio, that is also one of the uh, iconic things about it. Downtown, you can always rent a carriage and you usually have one of those beautiful Clydesdales or draft horses taking care of you. And of course, you also in the Fiesta Flambeau always have the pooper scoopers. There you go. They and are behind every one of these uh, horse-drawn carriages. I believe that's Battle of Flowers President Anna Laura Howell Block and husband Michael that are on that Viva Fiesta carriage that you saw there. The Battle of Flowers and Parade. El Rey Feo. Oh, uh, yes. I, I just wanted to mention Excuse that. Excuse me. This is not El Rey Feo. It's a former El Rey Feo. There you go. Uh, ah. Canseco. Uh, the Battle of Flowers, the oldest parade of Fiesta was actually on Friday. Uh, so we're still celebrating that. That's always a beautiful parade as well. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Fiesta Flambeau 2019 from downtown San Antonio. You were looking at the Silver Eagle distributors, Clydesdales, always a focal point of many parades all across the country, and of course right here in San Antonio as well. And, and of course you have the famous Dalmatian riding next to the uh, driver and assistant behind these Clydesdales as they make their way in front of the Alamo. They've been around since 1933, and they were actually put together to repeal, to celebrate the repeal of Prohibition. Now, earlier we showed you the 433rd airlift wing in that huge C-5 Super Galaxy. Well, here's some more members of the airlift wing in the 960th Cyberspace Operation Group. They train and equip citizen airmen to extend, operate, defend, and engage to fight and win in from and through cyberspace. It is a very important mission in San Antonio in both the government and the private sector. 
The 433rd uh, Airlift Wing covered the globe, supporting humanitarian and military operations in uh, U.S. domestic and international agencies. The Reserve Citizen Airmen participated in the international effort, for instance, to rescue 12 Thai youth soccer players who were trapped in a flooded cave by transporting the supplies and personnel to assist local authorities. You probably remember that news story. You might have remembered it, but did you know that some of that assistance came from right here in San Antonio from Kelly and Lackland Air Force bases? From Kelly to Lackland, the history of that particular air wing. Right and now, you're looking at a part of San Antonio that is unique to it, Grupo Folklorico de Bienes de Siones. This is, uh, has been established in, since 1915, and what they're doing is they are doing some very traditional folk dances for San Antonio. Yeah, and they have performed in a lot of different places. They have marched in the biggest Dia de los Muertos parade in Mexico City. They performed for El Gran Festival de Santa Maria Magdalena in, in Veracruz. They have been all over the place and actually performed with Grammy Award winning music artist Leela Downs for her U.S. tour. This is something you'll find all along the Riverwalk in San Antonio whenever these guys are out in their beautiful dancing clothes. It's really fun to watch at the Arneson Theater, for instance, right there on the Riverwalk. Now, we also welcome other parades to come and share what they have to offer as part of Fiesta Flambeau, and this is a representative from the city of McAllen holiday parade. Way down south, uh, they have a wonderful holiday parade that draws a lot of people from all over the world. It is a very large uh, holiday illuminated parade, much like Fiesta Flambeau, the largest holiday illuminated parade, and Helium Balloon Parade as well, and it was voted best parade in Texas and in the world in its class. Yeah, in 2019, the parade is December 7th, annually the parade, the first Saturday in December. I want to welcome our friends from the city of McAllen. I tell you, with weather this beautiful, it's kind of weird to see that looks like snow falling on Santa that's a, that's there. That's awesome. Yeah. That just adds to that float right there. It gives you kind of in the holiday spirit there what, you when, go. It's, when it's 80 degrees. Right. In you, couldn't ask, San Antonio. you couldn't ask for better weather, and uh, I guess you just add in the snow, and it just makes it more fun. Thanks, Santa. Oh, look at this. It's uh, disco time. This is via got, Metropolitan th Transit. This must be with a disco trolley as it makes its way through downtown San Antonio. This year's Fiesta Flambeau uh, theme is Reflections of Music Past, and you're going to hear a lot more about that, and that's probably why you've got the disco balls rolling along with that trolley car. From uh, This is from our Via Transit. This is how you get around in downtown. Yep, and there you see the director, the president, the CEO, Jeffrey Arndt of VIA, along with some of the dignitaries and their uh, friends, John Gary Herrera. Their family is the VP of Public Engagements, was also along with Jeffrey Arndt from VIA. And you can see as the sun is beginning to set that these uh, floats and the people marching in this parade, they're going to begin to glow. That's because much of the costuming, much of the floats are designed to illuminate, which is what makes this such a cool parade. Yeah, Toyota, one of the sponsors, of course, of the Fiesta Flambeau Parade. Look at the lights going out underneath that yeah, truck. Yeah, that's something I've not seen in parades before, so that's kind of a cool thing that they've added, some of the Toyota trucks. This, These from North Park Toyota of San Antonio. Also, uh, the float that we saw just momentarily, if we get another shot of it, it's from the United San Antonio Pow Wow Incorporated. Their mission is to promote the traditions and culture of the American Indian in the most positive manner possible to provide Indian people the opportunity to participate, practice, teach, and exchange tribal traditions among all of the tribes. And that is the float that we saw just moments ago. They have a, a lot of fun. They have powwows with St. Mary's University, a Native American Student Association, and with Fort Sam Houston's Cultural Diversity Program. And the celebrations of traditions powwow is an official fiesta event. And right now we have the band from San Roberto International, the Monterey Nuevo Leon Mexico joining us. 
members from that school who have come to take part in this yearly fiesta tradition in San Antonio, San Roberto Internacional. This parade has been around for 71 years. It started back in 1948, and it's become a draw for people all over this area, bands and groups and organizations from all over the country. And what we saw briefly there, the San Antonio Red Hat Queens Council, their mission to connect, support, and encourage women in their pursuit of fun, friendship, freedom, fulfillment, and fitness. We have our Red Hat Day, April 25th in last year, and we have it every year. Right now, you're looking at uh, another wonderful band, the Russellville High School Marching Band from Russellville, Alabama. Yes, as they march by, they established in 1944. They are the Golden Tigers. Let's listen in. The Tigerettes there came all the way from Alabama. They're going to celebrate their 75th anniversary this fall. They were state runner-up in the Alabama Class 5A marching band competition in 2018. There have only been seven band directors for this band in the 75 years of its existence. That's saying something right I there. love the way they've strung those lights through their instruments, through their uniforms. Now we've got the Memorial Minutemen High School Band, and these guys are from San Antonio, yeah, Texas. Yeah, from right here, the Memorial Minutemen. Let's listen in. Red, white, and blue. The pride of the west side, the Memorial Minutemen right here in San Antonio. They have received a lot of awards. They, they received the All-Star Jazz Combo Award. They competed in the Palo Alto Jazz Festival and they earned a first division rating. Good for them. And here are the flags. Yeah, these are the Fiesta Flambeau Parade Association flags. Representatives from the Sam Houston High School, JROTC, are carrying these Flambeau flags tonight. Did you know where they got the word flambeau from? Where did they get them? I'm guessing it has something to do with French or Louisiana. It does. Oh, okay. You can tell by the spelling, right? Yes. It's French for torch. Did you know that? Or candlestick. I did not know that, but now I know. Grand Marshal Chubby Checker making his way. Of course, an entertainment industry icon best known for popularizing the twist. There he is. There he is at the very back of the float, the one and only Chubby Checker. The twist, the first song in history to be number one for more than 50 years, will be the number one song until 2065 when Billboard magazine nominates another song for that honor. We have been twisting all week ever since Chubby Checker arrived in San Antonio. He is something to see. He is fun. He hasn't missed a step since those days 50 years ago. The one and only Chubby Checker, the Grand Marshal of this year's Fiesta Flambeau Parade. And he's still winning honors. He was honored when he won the Casino Entertainer of the Year Award back in 2018, just last year. And he's still touring, which is so awesome. It kind of makes you wonder as you look at him there, maybe uh, the twist is a magic elixir for youth. Does a twist keep you young? Is, well, that, is that what Chubby Checker is telling us? I'm going to start twisting now. <laughs> he is very current. He speaks to all people of all generations. Amazing guy to meet. And he just explodes on stage every time he's out there. I also appreciate that one member uh, member of his entourage had a Spurs jersey on as well. We're converting him. Yeah. This is the Southside High School Mighty Cardinal Band. Uh, this These guys uh, perform all over the place. They're the UIL First Division in Marching, Concert, and Sight Reading. And they are having fun as you see them <laughs> whooping it up with the crowd. I love that. I love that. And next, by the way, there was also the Southside High School Red Jacket Dance Team and the High School Cheer Team, part of that from Southside. Fiesta Flambeau Parade Association Honorary Grand Marshals. You saw there Randy Carroll, Jaime Mar Martin, Jojo, David Rios, Stephen O'Sellers, Henry Pepsi Pena. I believe it's Jamie Martin. She's one of the DJs. Jamie, there you yeah, go. Yeah, in town. 
All right, we are I back. I love this band. All right, we're going to have to be quiet here because this yes. is the Sam Houston marching band. Let's Look at in. them. Wow. We are so proud of the Hurricanes. They are awesome. They continue to win awards. First chair All-State tuba player last year. And Dr. Bernard Harris, the first African-American astronaut, is an alumnus of Sam Houston. And what I love about all of these bands is they have fun. I mean, they love this parade. Look And, and just look at how the instruments and their uniforms and everything are just lit up for this event. They always put on a great show, too, every single time, and love watching them march in front of the Alamo itself. It's, just, it's certainly one of the iconic sights that we see through, throughout the years of the Fiesta Flambeau Parade. And the crowd brings their own, you know, forms of light <laughs> yes. to help them light up the night as well. And they, you can really see the interaction between people on the floats, people that are in the marching bands, as well as the crowd that lines the street here, Alamo Street, in front of the Alamo. We have got uh, an, uh, every seat filled in downtown San Antonio right now. We line the streets with chairs. People and nonprofits sell those chairs to raise money for charities in the city. So that's yep. why you see so many people not standing, but rather sitting, because you buy your seat at Fiesta Flambeau. And here's Bonnie Carisal, the president of the Fiesta Flambeau Association, on her very own float with her Go Spurs Go towel hanging off very appropriately she and her family by the way the parade association founded in 1948 known as america's largest illuminated night parade 2018 named best parade in the world in our budget group by the international festival and events association and you, you notice that every once in a while you'll see people carrying what look like torches. Well, they are torches because that's the history of this event. They that's had right. people carrying torches in the first night parade, and so they call them torch units, and you see those every once in a while as they go by. We've got the Providence Catholic School, an all-girls school right now kicking it up. Down in front of the Alamo, the power of Providence is evident. They've got a 100% graduation and college acceptance rate, which is pretty amazing. And they have over 6,000 alumni who are making a difference in the world. This may actually be the Queen City Bells High School, which is a dance team from Del Rio. Oops, Just did down I the road, I believe, this is the Queen City Bells High School dance and drill team. There you go. The Del Rio Rams and Queens. That. The Bells, a prestigious group of young ladies who perform for their school and their community. And we are very happy that they made the trip north from Del Rio. Right now, this is the South Texas Radiology Imaging Centers giant guitar here as they help us celebrate Fiesta Flambeau 2019. We'll be right back. All right, right now you're looking at the military ambassadors from the different military wings in San Antonio. These are young people who run for the honor to be Fiesta military ambassadors to represent their different branches of the military. And then they get to take part in all of the Fiesta events. So tonight is really a culmination for a lot of these young people who I got a chance to visit with. Only one of them is from San Antonio. So for almost all of them, this is a first. And it looks like these are the uh, Las Durangas de San Antonio. They are a dance and entertainment group. 
2013, 14, and 15. They were in first and second place, and there you can see them right there as they march by. And this is where you get a good idea of exactly the illumination that you see on some of these outfits. Oh, my goodness. Just these stunning. are gorgeous. They really are. And they're having such a great time. Uh, they have been uh, winning awards in this parade for years now. First, second, and second place for the Fiesta Flambeau. And we've got the United States Navy right behind them in their beautiful white uniforms. And they're chanting USA along with the crowd as they make their way down Alamo Street here. The Navy, uh, a very popular <laughs> branch of the military here in San Antonio. We see a lot of them down on the Riverwalk taking leave. Yes. America's Navy mission to maintain, train, and equip combat-ready naval forces capable of winning wars, deterring aggression, and maintaining freedom of the seas. Now, the thing I love is they're supposed to have a band with them. I haven't seen a band yet, but the band name is called the Destroyers. <laughs> Could you have a more perfect name for the U.S. Navy band than the Destroyers? I don't think so. They are the popular music group of the Navy band Southwest. They're actually from San Diego, California, led by musician second class Nathan Ward. They are supposed to be coming down here. And are they on this float? Oh, actually, look at that. That's a, the, those are very cool. They're not floats, they're boats. Yeah, they're float boats. <laughs> and I believe that are the destroyers on the back of that last float boat. We've got some more walkers here and some dancers. Yes, this is the Toyota banner, the official vehicle fest Fiesta Flambeau Parade. And you'll see a lot of these along with the torch units that we talked about earlier. Toyota, a big part of Fiesta Flambeau. A lot of them are employees and families from the Toyota manufacturing plant, which is right here in San Antonio. The Viva Fiesta San Antonio Tacoma lit up in black lights, pulling a Toyota float that is covered with thousands of signatures. Fiesta attendees were asked to sign their name, write their favorite song, artist, or band to align with this year's theme, Reflections of Music Past. And weren't they able to win a ride in the parade I itself? I believe that was also part of the contest. They and got to maybe, be a... maybe win that giant pinata <laughs> that you see right there in That's the back cool. of this Toyota. But, to, but you know, to, Toyota has become a part of the fabric of San Antonio since they did build that plant on the city's southwest side. It has been a big boon to San Antonio's economy, and now they're taking part by sponsoring Fiesta Flambeau this year. And there you see the Toyota float that we were talking about. Yes, in case you're wondering, that uh, Flambeau tradition that has carried on for 71 years, they used to have four-man brigades who would light up the streets with this parade. I believe these are the winners of that sweepstakes that you were talking about oh, earlier, Ursula. These are the winners. These Two are the Toyota winners. from the plant and the winners of the Fiesta Toyota float ride sweepstakes, giving one winner and a guest the opportunity to ride on a Toyota float. And there you see the vehicle that was signed by a lot of different people did in you the, sign the Toyota. It? I did not sign it. Did I you sign signed it? it, yes. I didn't get the opportunity to sign it. Probably better because my handwriting's not the best, so they couldn't have been able to tell if it was me anyway. <laughs> the Fiesta Flambeau San Antonio Charitable Corporation is on the next float, I believe. And Torchy, the Tower of America's mascot, we have is a number what of mascots we see on up there. there, along with the tower itself. I think we have a puffy taco of some sort on there yeah, as well. Torch we of the Fiesta Flambeau mascot, I should say, along with the Tower of America's. Oh, it's a B-52. I get it. All right, now we have the Hearn High School Marching Band. This is a... Uh, some guys who came all the way from near Dallas to play in our parade. Yeah, I think they call themselves the Sound Machine, if I'm not mistaken. All the way from Hearn, Texas. Let's listen in. Yeah, the Marching Sound Machine. That's a cool name. It is. Yeah, 
Yeah, not to be confused with the Miami sound machine because that was something different. Now, this is an interesting <laughs> entry into the Fiesta Flambeau. It's called Disability SA, and their mission is to educate, advance, and engage individuals with disabilities by sharing information and creating opportunities. And what you see there is they're trying to explain here how many celebrities and well-known people lived with disabilities and succeeded in their yeah, lives. Yeah, primarily musicians. You saw Ozzy Osbourne and Rick Allen, Prince. Prince had epilepsy, musicians that separated, suffered from some type of disability being represented here. Hank Williams had did spina not bifida. Know that. Did Ray you know Charles that? Ray Charles Blind, of course. I did not know that Hank Williams had spina bifida, but uh, that's, a, that's a, I, I like that yes. uh, presentation. We are going to take a break here. We'll be right back with more of America's largest illuminated parade, Fiesta Flambeau 2019, after this. Welcome back to Fiesta Flambeau 2019. You are looking at the T.R. Miller High School Band from Bruton, Alabama. A long way, the second band we've had from Alabama. Love to welcome them to beautiful downtown San Antonio. They performed in the 2017 St. Patrick's Day Parade in Chicago, Illinois. We are proud to have them here in San Antonio. They've got some of their instruments, you know. They're getting into the spirit. Illuminated, so that's good. Yeah, very good. Thank you for joining us from Bruton, Alabama. And right now, the Gulf States Toyota Fiesta Flambeau Parade official vehicle going by. And here we have some more flag girls from Fiesta Flambeau's Parade Association. Their mission to inspire all girls to be strong and smart and bold. These girls are from Girls Inc., which is a school here in San Antonio that promotes girls uh, to promote to participate in various programs. They do a great job in here order in San to Antonio. succeed. Yes, we're, this is a relatively new school, and we love them. Here's the San Antonio Riverwalk Association. Yeah, Maggie Thompson is the executive director. Lawrence Sitterly is the board president. This organization established in 1968. They want to promote, protect, and preserve the San Antonio Riverwalk. And, and we certainly join reason. them in that mission. Yes, Absolutely. It's the number one tourist attraction in Texas. Our friends from the Somerset High School marching band are here. The Bulldogs. Let's listen in. This band, by the way, has received a superior rating for marching the past two years. They were sweepstakes bands in 27 and 2018. The Somerset High School cheerleaders and the Somerset High School silver dancers also part of this group. We've got... Uh a little Irish in the house. We've got O'Reilly's Auto Parts. They've got their own float this year. And uh, they have been here in San Antonio for about, uh, what, 60 years? Something yeah. like that. Yeah. Oh, 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 O'Reilly oh, <laughs> in the house here as they make their way through downtown San Antonio. Established in spring in December of 1957. And right behind them, we have some more visitors from outside the state of Texas that are joining us here in San Antonio tonight. The Richmond Hill High School Marching Band, directed by Dr. Daniel Keene. Liz Sneed is the assistant director, and the guard instructor is Marlon Harmon. The Marching Wildcats performed in the National Cherry Blossom Parade in Washington, D.C., but they look right here in yeah. downtown San Antonio. They have won 17 grand champion marching contests around the southeastern United States. Let's listen in to the Marching Wildcat Band.
And they sound great. Look at those hats. They did a great job yeah. illuminating their uniforms. Even their banner was lit up. Did you notice that? Their banner had a light that went back and forth on the banner. And now Great we have job. the Gonzaga Urgent Care First Aid Station group. They are here to promote that they are here to take care of you if you're not feeling well along the parade route. So sharing a commitment to quality care and customer service. Gonzaga Urgent Care. They're fired up. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> These walkers are having so much fun, I got to tell you. And I believe right here is a float from the Gonzaga Medical Group. Fiesta Flambeau Parade Association, Disco. Yeah, we saw the Disco Trolley a little bit ago. Now we have a Disco Float. We've had a little bit of that. everything. We've had some Beatles. We've had some Chubby Checker and the Twist. Now we need a little Disco. Yeah, it's only right. I, I, and look at that guy's hat. It's a green hat, and it's got, you know, strobe lights on it, it looks like. Look how the crowd is into it as well. This Here's is the Antonian College High School, the College Prep High School Mighty Apache Band. The Antonian College Prep High School is a Catholic co-education school, and it is uh, one of the, uh, uh, it's not actually not too far away from here, uh, from downtown San Antonio. It has the largest band program in the Archdiocese of San Antonio. They have a lot of different kinds of bands. The Antonian Marching Band. And, and this is the prep high school dance team as well. I was going to say, well. this is, looks like the dance team getting ready to perform. It can be quite warm in San Antonio, and I'm sure these dancers are loving the idea that they can perform and not sweat. Perfect weather for Fiesta Flambeau 2019. And look at that view. Yes, that is the Alamo, yeah, the and, one and only. And even the buildings off in the distance set off with the Fiesta colors for tonight's Fiesta Flambeau Parade. Thank you for joining us wherever you happen to be tonight. We've got I believe this dancers. is San Antonio. This might be the San Antonio shoes float, I'm guessing, because they have their shoes lit up. You oh, what a great that? idea. Yes, yeah, it looks shoes. like it's the San Antonio shoes float as it goes by. Every person age 35 plus should have at least one pair of SAS shoes in their closet. Proud manufacturer of U.S. military training shoe, handcrafted locally here on the south side since the, since 19th the 1970s. Century? That's amazing. Yeah. I didn't realize it had been here that long. We've got the Action United for Entertainers and Diversified Artists, the Piñatas in the Barrio. Yeah, I love this float. Actually, two floats together. They have the largest piñata in South Texas. And Piñatas we had some royalty the on there, too. La Reina and El Rey del Barrio were all aboard that float. Next, we have one of the local bands that we're very proud of from Brackenridge High School. These are the Marching Eagles. Let's listen in. To it. What oh, was it? It was great. It was great, and I can't think of it. You, oh, you, oh, you were relying on me I was relying to come on, up you're with like it. You're like Mr. Trivia, Mr. Yeah, Music I, Trivia. I, I should have paid more attention, I okay, guess. I was, gonna, I, was, I was struck by the instruments. They did a great there, job. Along with the dance team for Brackenridge High School. Look at that. Look at all the blue lights. Of course, those were that's their a colors. Great, that's what this parade is all about right there. I mean, it is, it is all about the sights and the sounds of Fiesta Flambeau. We've got another fire truck coming along. We've got some. Uh, this is the Moonstruck Foundation, the 100 some, Club of San Antonio. We have got some Twistin' and some Elvis, and we've got the Dalmatian, and we are dancing aboard the Moonstruck Foundation Incorporated float. Yeah, they participate in nonprofit community service activities while promoting fire safety in the form of entertainment and fulfilling childhood dreams to ride in a big red shiny antique fire truck 
and sound the alarm. The 100 Club since 1973 when their jobs bring our law enforcement officers and firefighters into harm's way and they pay the ultimate sacrifice with their life. The 100 Club of San Antonio is there. Funds are available for the families for immediate needs, placing a strong emphasis on higher education funding for surviving dependent children. They really do fill a gap at the 100 Club. And unfortunately, there have been some families in San Antonio that have had to take advantage of some of that help. The great they have organization. Been there, they have been there for them. Yes. And uh, as we just saw, the Tower of the Americas over San Antonio illuminated as well. We're going to take a break here. We'll be right back. It's on TV. This is what happened at the start of the Fiesta Flambeau Parade. You can tell it's still light out. The University of Texas Longhorn Marching Band. And as they made their way in front of the Alamo, this is one of the iconic scenes that makes Fiesta Flambeau what it is. The night parade, the University of Texas Longhorn Band plays. The day parade, the Texas A&M Aggie Band plays. There's a lot of school spirit going on here. They stop right in front of the Alamo. They've been doing it just like this for 71 years, uh, ever since Fiesta Flambeau began here right in San Antonio back in 1948. I think we're commenting. Let's listen in. As they make their way right in front of the Alamo, this is one of the most iconic scenes that we will see during this parade. The show band of the Southwest, the Longhorn Band, founded in 1900. We did not want you to miss that because it is a, a beautiful scene and we're very proud because that is, again, as this parade has been held every year for 71 years, that's how it starts. Here's the University of Texas San Antonio marching band right here. UTSA established this band established in 2011 in conjunction with the football team. When they started a football team, they needed a band. This is the Roadrunner marching band. Let's listen in. Since it was sponsored in 2011, this band has grown to an ensemble of more than 320 performers representing all majors of study. And speaking of UTSA. The UTSA University has been celebrating its 50th anniversary right now. In 1973, there were only 671 students. Today, there are 32,000 and 12,600 alumni. On board here, Hunter Kim, Mr. UTSA, Grace Adadipe, Miss UTSA, and Jack Rust, student body president. Just some of the students on board the UTSA float. Of course, the Roadrunners, now one of our favorite football teams in town. We have a lot of fun watching them. Absolutely. It's a relatively new thing in for the, us. In the Alamo Dome, and they have raucous crowds, tailgates. Doing all the traditions. The, to support the Roadrunners. Next, we have members of the San Antonio Conservation the San Antonio Designers. Conservation Society. Now, this is a tradition that was brought to San Antonio from Mexico, which you're seeing here. The purpose of the Conservation Society, of course, is to preserve and encourage the preservation of historic buildings, objects, customs, and that's what you're looking at right here. They also put on a huge party called Niosa here in San Antonio. Of course, uh, that's just wrapping up as we speak. I, I think we're out of order here. I'm going to be honest. I think this may be Las Monas, which is a performance group seeking to cultivate community and culture through the artistry of puppets and dance. That's what this looks like to me. This looks like this may be Las Monas. I think you're absolutely right, but we should give a shout out to the San Antonio Conservation Society as well. Absolutely, we should, yeah. Because that is exactly the sort of thing they love. Right here is the Carn City High School Marching Band, established in 1894. 
the Carn City Badgers. Let's listen in. They too are all illuminated. It is a beautiful <laughs> scene right here in front of the Alamo. They even have those little things on the front of their helmets there lit up with little LED lights. All right, now this, I believe, is the Zulu Association. With ZZ Top. Yeah, I was going to say, I know this is ZZ Top. Very I did, good. Just in case, you, in case you wanted to quiz me on this one. Sharp Dressed Man, the Zulu Association. They award 20 scholarships every year. They're a nonprofit social group that donates to the community. And, of course, they plan and produce a taste of New Orleans, one of Fiesta's most popular events in the Sunken Gardens. And they are jamming out with the Texas trio of ZZ Top. Taste and of New Orleans, I, another part of Fiesta that tastes as good as it sounds. You know, I could just hear, like, the thumping yeah. from our uh, where we were uh, up here in the podium. We've and I got believe the Texas just, Pioneers blazing a trail there in their carriage. I want to thank Barbara Vander Nipper, the honorary lady chairman of the State Association of Texas Pioneers. We've got a few more horses coming by. Is this the yeah, I believe this is Michoacana Meat yes, Market? Yes, I believe so. They usually participate in this parade. They're a very traditional meat market here in San Antonio, and, of course, they celebrate Charo Days. They have 100, more than 140 stores throughout Texas. So thank them for joining us tonight. I believe we've got some dancers coming up. It is looks like we got some Zumba fitness going yes. on here. This is Zumba fitness created some. in early 1990s by Alberto Perez. That's the Caliente Dance Studio joining us here at Fiesta Flambeau in downtown San Antonio. And behind them, some more of Fiesta royalty. This is the Ray Feo Scholarship Foundation Consejos, members of the Ray Feo Consejo Education Foundation. Their mission to preserve and support the traditions and fundraising efforts of the Ray Feo Scholarship and Education Program. And at the very back there is Mr. L. Ray Feo, Dr. Sal Barbaro III, Ray Feo 71, and Ken Schlout, who is the Prime Minister as Ray Feo goes by. We've got La Reina de la Feria de las Flores, Montana Kilbasa, who is uh, a wonderful young lady representing uh, the organization uh, for uh, uh, kind of the counterpart to El Rey Feo. She's currently a junior at University of Texas at Austin, and she is raising money for parent-child scholarship programs. And we talked to her the other day about anti-bullying being one of the things that she went to area high schools to talk to them about. And uh, she says, you know, they they talking to the kids about what can happen. Look at the flippers. <laughs> <laughs> She's wearing flippers, which is another tradition here, of course. Show your shoes. Show your shoes. They're usually not flippers, though. No. They're not usually webbed. We uh, saw for a brief moment La Reina Linda, who is Denise Smith Schlaut. There she is. She is La Reina Linda, which is a program designed to promote successful businesswomen in San Antonio. And uh, she has been everywhere this fiesta season. She has not missed an event. And uh, we congratulate her on a wonderful reign. <laughs> and right behind, we have the Destino Danzar Performance Group. Representing the group, Margaret Cisneros, the founder and choreographer of the group. Destino Danzar Performance Group. They usually put on a pretty good show for us here in the streets of Fiesta Flambeau, celebrating reflections of music past. Which, of Great. course, is the theme of this year's Fiesta Flambeau Parade. Right. They usually have some pretty amazing costumes. And here's the Lobeo Women's Association. Uh, they are a group that is meant to strengthen the community through education. They're a party group as well, going hand-in-hand hand with love. La Reina Linda as well and the El Rey Feo Association, all associated with each other. Yeah, and I love the shot here where we get to see the costumes lit up, the floats lit up as we look down Alamo Street. 
This parade is several hours long, and you can see the energy stays up for the entire parade. This is the party that San Antonio loves to throw every year. And you can see they're also showing off their shoes. Here is the Lobeo Association makes its way past our grandstand here. Could you dance for three hours? I don't think so. I do not think I could. What a beautiful night it has been. We're, let's listen to the sights and sounds of the parade right now. Fiesta Flambeau here in San Antonio. Thank you so much for joining us. And make sure to visit our beautiful city. We would love to see you here and maybe join us live during Fiesta Flambeau in 2020. Thank you for watching America's Greatest Night Parade. Good night. San Antonio, this is America's largest illuminated parade, the Fiesta Flambeau Night Parade on KSAT 12. Welcome back to our continuing coverage of the Fiesta Flambeau, the sights and sounds of the world's largest illuminated night parade. This parade has high energy. It's been going for over an hour now, and we are watching some pretty excited folks in the parade and folks excited on the sidelines in their chairs, waving to the marchers and the float goers. This has been really a wonderful parade. I think it has something to do with the fact that San Antonio is experiencing some of the best weather ever. Yeah, this is Our Lady of the Lake University. There's some walkers, of course, from the university and obviously a live band. Playing a little Purple Rain, I believe. Of course, the theme See, for I feel this like year... I, have to, I feel like I have to redeem myself. You do. Because you asked me earlier and I wasn't paying attention to I'm, what they were playing, so I'm trying to, trying to really, you know... I meant, I meant to Google that so that we would we would have the name of that <laughs> that uh, song it's an iconic song i believe from the 1960s okay in any event, we've got a loud red mccombs toyota truck behind us right now and uh of course toyota one of the main sponsors of the parade and, and you you were the first one to point out the lights underneath these trucks that's so lighting cool. up the streets that we have not seen that in years past and even the, the flagpoles on that one lit up and here's the San Antonio Lutheran Coronation Association, the Court of Illuminations, which is very beautiful. appropriate. Look at the beautiful gowns that some of these young ladies are wearing. On it's this. a nonprofit organization that honors young Christian men and women and gives them the opportunity to serve as a witness for our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, we have seen a lot of bands from outside the state of Texas. This next marching group is actually from outside the United States. They're from Mexico. Torreon Coahuila, Mexico, Escuela Carlos Pereira AC Banda. Great job pronouncing that. Let's listen in. Drums and horns uh, for that band coming all the way from Cojila, Mexico. And, you know, this parade can be kind of a zoo sometimes, so of course we should have the San Antonio <laughs> Zoo be part of it. The zoo has been the charm of the city for more than 105 years. Members of the San Antonio Zoo crew and future conservationists on board. We've got some uh, folks showing their shoes there. Uh, the zoo has been just a wonderful part of San Antonio, and it's been expanding and renovating yeah, over the last just, few years. So if you haven't been there lately, you need to go visit again. Just getting better and better, the zoo float as it goes by. Next, we have a carriage, I believe, from the International Black and White Ball, representing the International Black and White Ball. Robert and Lucia Flores, they're the directors. Their mission is to promote goodwill and understanding between Mexico and the United States, especially Texas. It's been around since 1933, and uh, they're going to have their 86th anniversary, uh, rather 87th anniversary this year. Beautiful float. The carriage, I should say. Beautiful carriage. 
Next, and we have the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. Yeah, that's One no of bull. your favorite events. That you is no that? bull. That I got it. No yeah. yeah. We've got some ropers on board and uh, some uh, uh, cowboys and cowgirls. Of course, the rodeo, the world's best Grace, right here in San Antonio. Yeah, Grace Minner is Miss Rodeo Texas Queen. Sandy Garcia, the sub chairman. Melanie Rawlings, the director, established in 1947. The San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. And there is Miss Rodeo Texas Queen. Doing a selfie. Doing a selfie, <laughs> Doing yeah. Doing a selfie because you always got to do one when you get in front of the Alamo, right? This is the perfect spot for your selfie. That's a float that's easy to rope you in. Oh, very funny. That's good. <laughs> You know, this is, I can't believe we're broadcasting right across the street from the Alamo. I know. We have the most beautiful view of the city tonight. And look at all the folks who found their way to the best seat in the house as well. Look at that. Yeah. Something and, they'll be talking about for years to come. And this is really, I mean, Fiesta is something that brings San Antonio and South Texas together like nothing else. And we are just so excited at KSAT 12 to be able to bring you this live coverage of the Fiesta Flambeau and really all the parades that we've seen so far in what has truly been a great Fiesta. We see a lot of parades in San Antonio, but Steve and I have the honor of announcing for you live to me the best parade, the finale of Fiesta. I agree. Like I said, this is one of those things if you have not been here live, you need to be here live. This is the Latin American Heritage Society. The Latin American Heritage Society King, his royal court ambassadors and Latin American Heritage Society members work together to raise monies for scholarships for young men and women who want to major in the fine arts or in music. This organization has actually only been doing this since 2007, but the Heritage Society it really spends a lot of time visiting every Fiesta event and spreading their message. There's Patsy Torres, of course, the yeah. Tejano and jazz vocalist, one of our favorite celebrities here and, in San Antonio. And, you know, during Christmas holidays, the Latin American Heritage Society treated children from St. Peter's and St. Joseph Children's Home to dinner, hosted these children to see a musical at the Woodlawn Theater. They provided Christmas gifts and stocking stuffers for children. Just one of the many great things that they do in the Latin American Heritage Society. You know, Patsy is always known for dressing with style, and I got to tell you, she's got the best boots of anyone so far <laughs> in this parade. And next we have the Flag Corps from the Edison High School Golden Bear Band. And uh, we are very excited to see the Edison Band every year as well. Let's listen to what they've got to play for us here right in front of the Alamo. Edison High School has been around since 1929, one of the premier schools here in San Antonio. We saw the flag corps. We also saw the Golden Girls dance team from Edison, as well as the Edison High School cheerleaders, which I believe we're looking at right there, some of the Edison High School cheerleaders and the Golden Girls dance team. Their pep, pep squad, the Honey Bears. I love that name. Also out here <laughs> with the Edison High School Band. I still don't understand how these guys can have this much energy after yeah. I, they've been going for over an hour and a half, two hours now. I just love the, the lit up Edison yes. sign there. Those, those, those must be the honey bears there. They're doing a great job. Yeah, they are. And they, they have to get back in a certain order. Yes. That would be that would be the that hardest make, part. The dancing part would be easy. It's just like let's get back in the right order. Yeah, that would you don't be the want a typo part. at yeah. this point. No. The Shiner Chamber of Commerce is in the house, and they brought their own float from Shiner, Texas. Of course, the city of Shiner, an older city. It's from 1987, um, and its chamber started in 1945. Yeah, we want to welcome them, Bach, to the ah, parade from Shiner. I got it. Shiner Bach. I just, you know, make, I was making a joke. It was a bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how do you spell Bach? B-A-C-H or B-O-C-H? B-O-C-H. There you go. Now I get it. Okay. okay. 
<laughs> okay, who do we have here? Do, Re, Mi. They are a singing group. Got some music going. This might be actually be the Chick-fil-A. Is this the Chick-fil-A float that we're seeing here? I don't know. I think they would have a dancing cow if that were I the case. I would think they would, too. This doesn't look like the Chick-fil-A float to me. But that I'm is told the Chick-fil-A. It is the Chick-fil-A float. Yeah, there you go. You see the Chick-fil-A emblem on her sash. Ah. Oh, Shelly gotcha. Young, the owner-operator of Chick-fil-A on Marbach. Ryan Roberts, the owner-operator of the Chick-fil-A Alon Town Center. Of course, Chick-fil-A established in 1967. I guess I was I saw the cow dancing cow earlier in the street, but you, okay, can you pick out this one? <laughs> Just look at the giant T cup. Yes. That should tell you the giant thing of T right there. There you go, Bill Miller. Bill Miller is here. That's yes. right. This is uh, of course a, a iconic uh, barbecue spot here in San Antonio, all over San Antonio in South Texas, established back in 1953. You know who we haven't seen yet? Who? We haven't seen our good friend Adam Kasky. Let's go see what Adam is up to. Hey, Adam. We are having a good time here. Yeah, Ursula. <laughs> Ursula was talking about energy and excitement. I am with the KSAT Insiders. How's the party? Awesome party. Confetti, but I missed some of these kids. Right. Y'all right. ready? Are you ready for some confetti? Come on! And Viva Fiesta! <laughs> It's been a that whole. That is night. awesome. I was laughing at the little girl right by the cannon who was hold, you know, covering Holding her ears. ears. Bless her heart. Of course, the Tower of the Americas, uh, looking over this gorgeous scene. I was helping Adam uh, load up his uh, his truck full of goodies for this parade, and I got to tell you, he's got a huge cart, and he piles it up with everything you oh, can I imagine: know. giveaways, confetti. Cascarones, everything. So after Fiesta Fiesta, I rode back with him on the golf cart, and he had his pull cart that he has with all yes, of his goodies. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. We were on a golf cart, and he and I were standing on the back. I don't, I don't know if this is exactly legal, but anyway, we're standing on the back of this golf cart as we're going along, and some uh, uh, lady pulls up next to us and starts jamming, and Caskey and I just start dancing with her on the back of the golf cart in downtown San Antonio. Which may, reminds like, hey, me you know. of something. Yeah. We have a little bit of business to take care of. I don't know if uh, if our director is paying attention, but he probably should put us back on camera right now. Yeah, I guess. Oh, yeah. Okay. Viva Fiesta. All right. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay, there we go. Love it. All right, now we're it's, now it's a part. Look, you okay. even left part of the egg it's on my head. It's official now. Yes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Oh, this is All right, great. let's go to the Alamo City Marching Band now. If I can move the confetti out of the way after it's been read my smashed. Scripts. The Alamo City <laughs> Community Marching Band, an all-volunteer, nonprofit organization directed by retired Marine musician Mike July. Founded in 2002. Let's listen in. I love this band. All volunteers. They are these are guys that are just playing for the love of music and it led them to Alamo Street in downtown San Antonio. Now we have the H E B float. Of course H E B our grocery store all over the area. The story of H E B began back in nineteen oh five in a little family store in Kerrville, Texas. Now it's in more than three hundred communities across Texas as well as Mexico with more than 400 stores, and there are 110,000 partners. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. A couple of ice cream cones there on that float. And next, the what's in store. Roy Nelson Rico's B&G mascot, Rico's mascot from the what's in store group. 
And uh, what does it say? Grilling and chilling Texas style. <laughs> I like that. You got the Jolly Green Giant you on there. You got everything you need. You got the Rico's, the Rico's Nacho Cheese guy on there. And you got a kid on there flossing. Somehow I think this is the float Adam Kasky should be on. Yeah, Adam should be near the flossers. That's for darn sure. And next, I believe this might be the Delray Del Rey marketing float. Love and Beauty and Planet, a brand that believes that small acts of love can make the planet a little greener, a little cleaner, and a little more beautiful. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Delray Marketing from Commerce, California. And this is the Whataburger float. And it's orange, y'all. And they got big boots. <laughs> look at those big boots in front. Oh, you got to love, love it. Whataburger, of course. They've got their spicy ketchup and their fancy ketchup marching along. It's been around since 1950. And, uh, you know, it's rich in history. From day one, the family has been a key to Whataburger success. It's a family-owned business. The guy in the bag there even has a receipt <laughs> to that. it. Did you see that? I saw that. What a float. The Whataburger float. What a float. Yeah, that's great. All right, this is the St. Anthony High School drumline. Javier Tapia is the band director. Debbie Quinones is the director of curriculum, established in 1904. They've been celebrating, if you do the math, 115 years of education. St. Anthony Catholic High School preparing young men and women for positions of responsibility and leadership through a college preparatory curriculum. Yep, there's the Yellow Jacket cheerleaders that we see right behind the drum line from St. Anthony High School. You know, they're, they, they academically are well-known. They're also back-to-back -back state champions in volleyball. Yep, and now we see their dance team coming, back-to-back -back state champions in volleyball. As you said, PSAT and SAT scores above the national average, celebrating 115 years happy to be part of the parade theme this year, Reflections on Music Past. St. Anthony High School right there in Monte Vista, just yep. north of downtown. Yep, Yellow Jackets. Next up, we've got the Floorsville Peanut Festival royalty. This float looks like it is all it's cracked up to be. <laughs> they are not shell-shocked. No, they're not. This is the Court of European Elegance. Court members are Madeline Castro and her escort, Josea Hernandez. And, of course, the Floorsville Peanut Festival established in 1938. They have a mascot whose name is Goober. That makes sense. Which makes sense for a peanut festival. But look at the look at the look at the gowns that you the know, ladies are wearing. These gowns, the, everything about it is elegant. It reminds me of Game of Thrones. Remind you of Game of Thrones? I don't. Uh, uh, I think I'm the only one who doesn't watch Game yeah, of Thrones. Yeah, you're right. Here's right. the John F. Kennedy High School Band. Let's listen. This is my alma mater. I was in a band. I was a coordinator. So let's get it. The Mighty Rocket Marching Band. And right behind them, the Rockets Dance Team from John F. Kennedy High School. Love those uniforms with them, uh, with the lights, the LED yeah. lights on them. They were established back in 1963, this high school. The Rockets are dancing for us. They were First place winners of uh, this school uh, in the 2018 Fiesta Flambeau. They're going for another run at being the best band in the parade. And they are uh, school colors of green and white, and they are certainly showing them off here in downtown San Antonio from John F. Kennedy High School. And there you have it. There's that scene. We can't get away from it. The one, the only, the Alamo. And that is where you were watching live the Fiesta Flambeau Parade here in downtown San Antonio. And what a beautiful night it is. It's a little windy, but temperature-wise, this has to be, if not the one of the nicest temperature-wise nights that we have seen. And we have members from Ballet Fol Folklorical Festival next. They were established in 1992, colorful costumes, really the pride and beauty of Mexico brought right here to you 
in downtown. Look at those costumes, how gorgeous. Yeah, beautiful. Folklorical dresses. And of course they have their festival uh, and they are really a, a, the largest Mexican Folklorico dance company in San Antonio. They've been performing all over the place. They perform for the Dallas Cowboys and um, as well as for Hispanic Heritage Month. You know, the mission is to bring the joy and beauty of Mexican regional dance to the people of all ages everywhere. That is the mission of Ballet Folklorico. And, and if, the festival certainly does that. Yeah, and if you're lucky, you'll go down on the river walk and you'll see these these ladies twirling with their beautiful costumes. They're made even more beautiful right now because, as you notice, they've strung them with lights as well. Yeah, and we actually have a float that is behind uh, some of the dancers that you see are walking, a Ballet Folklorical Festival float. Ooh, it's got a lot of energy. That is beautiful, yeah. yeah the beautiful. director is Bruce Gonzalez, and the dancer aboard that float is Mona De La Rosa. All right, now that is talent. How they're do you not do only that talented, That's what I'm saying. They're not only talented dancers, but they're talented dancers as they're on a moving float going through <laughs> downtown San Antonio. And that is so iconic. What an iconic scene in San Antonio. That's some talent. All right, this is the Luling Watermelon Festival float from our friends in Luling, Texas. Luling, of course, has this festival every year. You don't want to miss it. They have watermelon, seed spitting, all kinds of activities. Everything you can do with a watermelon, you'll do it at the Watermelon Thump in Luling. Yeah. And next, we have the Lanier Sensational 70s Alumni Association from Lanier High School. Some folks who have come back to take part in this parade from Sydney Lanier High School. These are from the 1970s this part of the Alumni Association. There's a lot of pride going on right here with that Alumni Association. <laughs> I would love to do this for my high school. Congratulations to them for making it out tonight. Yeah, and following them, of course, is the Sydney Lanier High School marching band, the Vokes, that are bringing up. I think every year they have different uh, alumni associations that lead the bands right. through the different parades. It's a great idea. This it really uh, is. school's been around since 1950. Let's listen in to this band. The Lanier Vokes High School Marching Band. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Fiesta Flambeau 2019 live on KSAT 12. We are coming to you from right across the street from the Alamo. The Alamo is our backdrop. Right I now, almost have to say that over and over to actually realize yeah. it's actually what's happening. Right now behind us, there's a little bit of a lull in the parade activity. So guess what they're doing? They're dancing in the streets right here in San Antonio. That's why you see these empty seats. They're actually standing. There are people in, in the street dancing <laughs> right now. <laughs> we have to say that the Fiesta Flambeau is always a great show. It's always a lot of fun, and we're really honored to be able to bring it to you year after year on KSAT. I, I'm enjoying this more than any other. This is the best weather we've ever had since we started uh, broadcasting yeah. the parade live, and I know that everybody in the streets enjoying it as well. Yeah, and we hope you're enjoying it wherever you may be, hopefully with your family, taking in the sights and sounds of one of the most iconic parades in the country. And speaking of iconic, how about a little Danza Vida de San Antonio, a dance company that is not only a dance company, they also have a float and they are, this This may be, I mean, they are lit up. They are ready to go. They are celebrating disco. So we've got <laughs> we've got some disco dancers here with Danza Vida. And <laughs> I love this. I don't know how you dance with all of these lights stringing off of you I'm with all carefully. that energy. I guess so. I'm thinking so. very carefully. 
Got some disco moves going there. Donna Thumb. Yeah, Selena impersonator on board the Danza Vita float. A Selena disco is what it says on the back. And we've got some mini Selenas in the back. Yeah. Danza Vita just celebrated 11 years within San Antonio, an electrifying dance company that performed throughout the United States. The founder and artistic director is a former Miss San Antonio, and here they are paying homage to an icon, Selena. And Donna Summer. And Donna Summer. <laughs> One more Selena. Now we have the Southwest Legacy Band from San Antonio. Their mascot is the Titan. And there you see the flag core. Their mission to provide students meaningful musical experiences while developing character, responsibility, respect, integrity, and a passion for the art of music. The Legacy Titan Band has participated in the Fiesta Flambeau Night Parade every year in the existence of the school. We are glad that they are back with us. I gotta tell you about this band. They were invited to perform at Disney World in May and will reportedly record a soundtrack for a Disney movie. You're kidding. That's what it says in the notes here, and that is quite a thing for Southwest Legacy. Legacy. They also have an award-winning dance team. It's only been around for a couple of years, but there are 17 members of those golden dazzlers. That's what they call themselves. I want to know more about this Disney soundtrack that they're recording. I know, that is quite an honor. That's I wonder if it's cool. gonna go in a Disney movie. You would think so. You would think it says so. it's a soundtrack for a Disney movie. We'll record a soundtrack for a Disney. You're exactly right. Wow, that is really cool. We'll have to do a story about this. Yeah, huh? very cool. Another think? cool thing, the Comal County Fair Association, of course, from New Braunfels, and their mission, the purpose of the Comal County Fair Association, to fund agricultural fairs, encourage agricultural pursuits, and promote other civic, educational, agricultural, and horticultural purposes. The fair queen this year is Presley Wirebaugh, and the fair princess is Kendall Neely, the Duchess Cassie de la Fuente, the rodeo queen, Juliana Cruz, rodeo princess, Brooke Hine, and rodeo duchess is Grace Gambrell. They have been performing and participating in Fiesta Flambeau parades since the 1950s. It's the 125th anniversary of the Comal County Fair. Next, and we have the Miss Cibolo Scholarship Pageant. And uh, this is, of course, from the city of Cibolo. You've got uh, quite a few beauties up there. Samantha Uvalle, Mackenzie McIntyre, Selena Velasquez, Madison Sellers, and Jandon Hicks. They are providing scholarships for the ladies of Cibolo to empower and encourage life-enriching experiences. In the seven years that they've been around, they have awarded more than $46,000 in scholarships and contributed more than 1,000 hours of volunteer service. That is the Miss Cibolo scholarship pageant. Very cool. We got another one of those illuminated Toyotas. <laughs> this one, the Outlaw Off-Road. Break the rules. There you go. <laughs> Some good looking trucks that we've seen in this parade. Yeah, I, and I love the way they stepped it up this year with the, the lights coming off of the bumpers and undercarriage. And yeah, they really have. And next, I believe this might be the Guadalupe County Agricultural Fair Queens from Marion, Texas. They have received four top awards at the 2019 Texas Association of Fairs in Texas. They've been around since 1883, one of the oldest 
fairs in all of Texas, and they have had 69 reigning queens. They're showing off their boots. Next, the South San Antonio High School marching band, the Mighty Bobcat marching band. The band director, Lisa Wilburn, Nick Sereno is the assistant band director, and Chad Britt is the assistant band director as well. The mascot, the Bobcats, South San Antonio High School Bobcats. Let's listen. sounding band from South Sand. Right now, let's check in with our other colleagues that are out and about on the parade route. Let's go to Myra Arthur and David Sears. Yes, we are, but Steve and Ursula are talking to us right now, so we need them to take us very seriously for a moment. We gotta tell you something really important. Do you think they can take us seriously right now? We don't have anything serious to say. It's Flambeau. We're having a fantastic time. Look at this crowd. Welcome back to 2019's Fiesta Flambeau Parade through downtown San Antonio. And we just saw the Pleasanton Chamber of Commerce and their float and the go Southwest by. High School and the Band. Southwest High School Band also you see there off in the distance. But we have another band coming up right here. It is the Highlands Mighty Owls Band from San Antonio. They are uh, been around since 1958. Highlands is a STEM and engineering magnet school. Let's listen in. They've got a lot of spirit there. The Mighty Owl Band marching right in front of the Alamo tonight. I love that. Great shot. Next up, we have got uh, representation from Mission, Texas. This is the Texas Citrus Festival. Yeah, established in 1932. It's to educate and promote the bountiful citrus harvest and industry from the Rio Grande Valley, the Texas Citrus Festival. It's 83 years old. And they have won and been recognized for festivals of citrus pollux for many, many years now. Look at the beautiful queens on board. Fiesta's product show of exquisite costumes, and they are made of citrus and other valley products. They've been featured in National Geographic, Southern Living, and Texas Monthly. That is a beautiful float. Show us your shoes. All right, the Harlandale Indian High School Marching Band coming by. I love their Flag Corps uniforms there. Yeah, very colorful, very talented as well. They've been around since 1924, and the Harlandale Band has been committed to a complete education, instilling a concept of self-respect and providing an atmosphere, discipline, and structure, structure rather, 
and, and they, is, they're here a, every year. Yeah, this is a band and a flag corps that consistently wins awards. Let's listen in. <laughs> And this is the Harlandale High School Golden Dancers as well. The mascot again, the Indians, and they are having a great time. I love that. Yeah. Great sounding band too. Oh yeah. And at Harlandale, I just know this mainly from seeing Greg Simmons live shots over the years and Larry Ramirez and David Sears live shots over the years. They have very good tailgates on Friday nights. There. They do? Yeah. They, they, they look they look like they're fun. They look and, and I've really noticed they have a good barbecue. Now you're making Those me are the hungry. Things that, these are the things I notice on Friday <laughs> nights while Greg's talking football. We've got some dancers coming down the street. This is the Image Dance Company. And uh, they were established in 1991. They also have a float, as you can see, along with their dancers. Viva Fiesta, exactly right. The Image Dance Company. They've been entertaining at Fiesta events in San Antonio, as well as South and Central Texas, along with La Imigen in the San Antonio for citywide and private events as well. They've had pageant winners up there, got Petite Miss, San Miss Texas Isn't up that, there. Yeah, very cute. So cute. Yeah. Well, this parade continues to roll on. And the dancing continues. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Fiesta Flambeau 2019. You are looking at the McCollum High School Band marching in front of the Alamo. They received first division ratings at the at the Region 2 marching contest. Let's listen in. This school established in 1962. They are the Cowboys. And here are some of the Cowboy dancers. And by the way, they took first place at the 2018 Fiesta Flambeau Night Parade last year. So, Ooh, they've got a title to uh, they defend do. They're here. They're defending their title from last year. And of course, the McCollum High School Dance Group also along. The Golden Stars Dance Team placed first in the Crowd Pleasers National Dance Competition last year. And we have another local band. Coming up right here, we got Fox Tech. The I alumni, we have some, yeah, some alumni first. Yeah, the alumni is leading the pack. They are representing uh, the school there. Charlie Settles Jr. is the president of the alumni association, and their mascot name is the Buffalo. Yeah, the alumni association from Fox Tech, of course, home of the original bowl game, the Chili Bowl. A rivalry between Fox Tech and Lanier that dates back to 1942. So one of the many ways to ignite the beloved memory of Fox Tech as the pride of downtown. Of course, it's a school that has changed and become a magnet school uh, and does no long and no longer has a football team. That's right, but they do have a marching band. Let's listen. Fox Tech Marching Band, the Buffaloes, making their way through downtown San Antonio. They have been going strong for about three hours now, and they have so much spirit. Way to go, Fox Tech. 
And up next, we have one of the, uh, we said we have a lot of festivals that are celebrating things from around Texas. This is one of them. I believe this is the Washington birthday celebration float from Laredo. Of course, it's a big thing. George and Martha Washington, Abrazos children, Princess Pocahontas and, Ch Pocahontas and Chief White Eagle are on this float. This is a big deal in Texas. They draw people from all over the world. This festival, this celebration of Washington's birthday was established in 1898 in Laredo. Yeah, 123rd celebration set for January to February of 2020. Uh, they, it, it is a big deal in the city of Laredo, the Was celebration of Washington's birthday. And the queen showing her shoes there. Look and at the pageantry. Yeah, isn't that great? Of course, Martha Washington would wear a big hoop skirt just like that. All right. Greg Simmons' favorite band, the Mighty Mighty Mustangs from Thomas Jefferson High School are now making their way through downtown along with their dance group, the Lassos. Let's listen in. The Jefferson High School Band was the winner of the 2016-2017 and 2017-2018 San Antonio Symphony Residency Program where professional musicians work side by side with these band members. Now I think we're in a position where we can actually listen in. Here we go. And this is where Greg Simmons went to high school. I don't I don't think the band was playing Bruno Mars when Greg went there. This is reflections on recent music past. Yeah, absolutely. Jefferson High School, also known for its dance team, the Lassos, since 1932. The Lassos have reflected the unique heritage and history of Thomas Jefferson High School. A service, performance, and spirit organization, the Lassos have made a difference in young women's lives by helping them develop as leaders and by encouraging academic excellence. The mission to help any young lady who wants to be a Lasso realize her dream. Also to develop arm muscles, because they are twirling those lassos for hours now. Way to go, lassos. Yeah, absolutely. And it looks like right now... The uh, wonders of the world. Two men in a truck. And this is the 2020 parade theme we're seeing right now. Wonders of the world will be the next year's parade theme for the Fiesta Flambeau Association. And... My friends in the Dos Equis bus made the parade. They're making a special delivery just for you, Steve. All right, I'll be. I, I, can we wrap this up? Because I got to go. Yeah, this is the one thing. He, <laughs> this was the one thing Steve asked for. Yeah, can it, just just pull over yeah, right there. Yeah, right I'll behind be right, us. I'll be right there, guys. And you know what? I'll we, be right we, there, we're guys. Not, we got a little bit of more business I'll be right there. to See, attend. look, they're my friends. They're waiting for me. <laughs> one more cascaroni for you, Steve. Look, they're all waiting for Before me. Before you go get your beer, your adult I know, beverage. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. That's the party bus right there. Yeah, it doesn't look, sadly, it doesn't look like they have any room in the Dos Equis bus. Oh, they'd make room for you, Steve. Kinda, they I, would. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It looks, does not looking good for me in the Dos Equis bus. I'll work, I'll work it out for you. Okay, thank okay. you. Okay, I, I see this. I see it happen. Wonders right. of the world, the theme for next year's Fiesta Flambeau. So as we put a wrap on this year's, we can already look forward to 2020 and another fabulous Fiesta week. We thank you so much for staying with us for Fiesta Flambeau 2019. As I said, it has always been such a tremendous honor in order to bring this to you each and every year. We've been doing it five or six years now, and each single parade is one that stands out in my memory 
every year. You know, there are just certain things that happen on the final Saturday of Fiesta. You've got the King William Parade. You've got the King William Fair. You've got the Pooch Parade. You've got all these different things. But what better way to top it off than Fiesta Flambeau and see the Texas Longhorn marching band stop in front of the Alamo and play the Eyes of Texas or to see some of the local bands lit up and just getting this crowd into it. And of course, you know, an icon like Chubby Checker being the Grand Marshal, the honorary Grand Marshal for this year's Fiesta Parade. One of the things that stands out for me was how it started. Uh, there was a, a fun run that ran right down the parade route with some of the most fun costumes. It starts off such fun. It gets energized for two and a half, three oh, hours. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and everyone here walks away with a great memory. Yeah, absolutely. And I know that I certainly have some. We hope you do at home as well. Uh, we at KSAT are very honored to be able to bring this uh, parade and all the parades that we have seen during Fiesta into your homes. And we want to thank you for joining us and supporting us in that endeavor. And if you've been watching our live stream, thank you for joining us on our other platforms as well, because we're here for you all over the place on the air, uh, as well as on your computer, live streaming your phone, you name it. So. I talked about one of the icon iconic uh, deals being that during the day parade, Texas A&M's band plays. The night parade is where the UT Longhorn band plays. And I, we want to listen a little bit more to their performance here in front of the Alamo. Let's, let's roll some of that right now. The Austin band has been playing at this parade right in front of the Alamo. The eyes of Texas are upon us. Listen in there as the UT band <laughs> hoops it up with the crowd here. This band is 375 students strong, and it is celebrating 119 years of musical experience. And of course, <laughs> they love that hook 'em horn sign, and that's they're going down the street with it. Here they're going to play again. Let's yeah. listen. play a few songs for us, I see. Yeah, and this is one of the great traditions as we listen in. They actually played two or three, four songs for yeah. us right there in front of the Alamo. Yeah, yeah. It, it, and actually, um, it, it was just, it was great because you could see the students in the band seemed to be enjoying the moment as the much as the people they were performing for. And you could see that in the eyes of the of the young people that were playing in that band. Oh, yeah. They were enjoying this moment, realizing where they were and what a rich history they have of playing in front of the Alamo on the night parade. In case you are new to San Antonio, this is something that uh, we relish. This is the end of Fiesta for us. Uh, it's the 71st uh, Fiesta Flambeau Parade, and uh, again, it's it's 2.6 miles of fun. There are 750,000 plus spectators in the street. You're looking at right there. There are more than 1.5 million TV viewers you know, in, in San Antonio, as well as around the world. Now that we're on these other platforms, uh, you're live streaming this um, all over the world. 1948 is when it started, right? Exactly. 1948, and, and, and they are still making first. Tonight was one of those. We saw that massive C5 Super Galaxy 
from the 433rd airlift wing fly over to kind of start this parade. I heard and that the pilot was from Louisiana. Did you hear that? Uh, there we go. Uh, this is what I wanted to show this. This is one of the first. They have never done this before at the night parade. That's that massive C-5. Oh, wow. From the 433rd airlift wing flying over downtown San Antonio. And it was a great sight to see. Of course, the 433rd airlift wing out of San Antonio. And, and just to give you an idea, this this um, C-5 actually was only 1,000 feet off the ground. It was flying incredibly low, so the people on the ground were just in awe. Well, that's what I mean. So we're in the 70, what, 71st? Is that what you said? Yes. 71st year of the Fiesta Flambeau, and they're still making first. You know, that's the first time they ever had a C-5 flyover to kick off this parade. And I'm glad, I want to thank the production crew back there for finding that video because that was amazing. It was. And, you know, all of this from such humble beginnings, you know, this whole parade started off with little brigades of four men carrying a torch carrying torches. through the streets. Four, four guys at a time, the brigades, the flambeau brigades, would carry the torches down San Antonio streets, and that was the beginning of the Fiesta Flambeau Parade. Of course, nowadays, all sorts of people are carrying those torches, flashlights, illuminated LED rods, you name it. We still got crowds having a good time in the streets. It's feeling a little bit like Mardi Gras now. <laughs> I think they figured out they're on camera. Yeah, oh. and I think there's some medals that are happening oh, there as well you go. Uh, behind us. And, yeah, I mean, this is a crowd that does it. I mean, it's a beautiful night. And for Fiesta Flambeau parades, this was over relatively early. I mean, we've had this parade go as late as, you know, uh, 11 o'clock at night before. So for the fact that it's not that late at night, you know, they're probably prepared to be here for another hour. Well, I think, uh, I think we're feeding them medals here. <laughs> I think that's what's happening, too. <laughs> and I'm throwing them a few cascarones as well. Yeah, and it, I think that's part of it. I think it's also uh, just not wanting to go anywhere right now. Well, the party's still going on. I think, it's again, the, the weather is so awesome that, uh, <laughs> that they don't want to go home yet. No, exactly. We want to thank you all for joining us as we put a wrap on the Fiesta Flambeau coverage live from downtown San Antonio. Good night, everyone. Viva!